Guys, we're gonna be pretty quick with this because we gotta we're, we're getting on the road. But uh, uh, today was a good day. It was good to see everybody together. You know, really trying to uh, uh, push the tempo of practice. You know, a lot more team situations um, with you know that it kind of all goes to the to the process of what we're trying to build. You know, big fundamental work the last three days today. Get more of it. You know, putting together, uh, added some situations, third down situations. Uh, uh, you know, it was it was a. Dominant third down performance from the defense. So there's a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of guys flying around. But um, you know it's great great film to get to continue to improve offensively. Um, you know I, I like what I'm seeing and uh, I like the competitive spirit. Uh, we saw some most explosive plays. Uh, you know there offensively uh, today in the run game and in the passing game. Um, you know it was you know I think it's it's coming along and four days into it. But you know, I think the, the, the work that's being put in, uh, you know, we just co continue to have to have the consistency, play in and play out, pushing the tempo of how we operate. Uh, but you know, I thought there were some, some good things that showed up today. Travis Jay seemed like set a tone from the get go today. What's it like watching him just continually develop? Uh, you know, we, we ask a lot out of Travis, and Travis is uh, he's got the right mindset. Um, you know, he's really maturing uh, over the last year. I mean, it's. It's been a, a, a daily push, daily challenge. You know, we talk about it. You know, your best players, your best athletes, have to be coached the hardest. And uh, you know, I think I think Travis is starting to really um, embrace that. And you know, he's he he wants more. And uh, you know, I thought he he definitely had a, a really good day today. You mentioned a couple times now that Pierre Thomas is a right now. Absolutely. You know, I think I think those guys on the defensive front. You know, Pierre. Um, uh, you know, Marcus coming in. Uh, you know, Quayshon Fuller. I, I mean, it's really, I mean, he's had a, an outstanding four days. And, uh, you know, really getting to see him kind of, you know, growing into what he's being asked to do. And, uh, you know, I, I think he's playing with a lot of confidence. And so, uh, you know, I, I think the, the defensive front, there's a lot of competition. Uh, guys are pushing, but, you know, we got to continue to get better. To see that depth emerging, I know you guys have a lot of scholarships on defensive linemen this offseason. Is that kind of what you're hoping for to see them? I mean, it, yeah, absolutely. You know, it, for us, it's you know you got to have to be great in the trenches. It's you know, something we're continuing to push. Um, you know, it's great having all all of our offensive linemen coming back from last year, and uh, you know you're pushing those guys. Uh, we're looking at a, a couple different combinations. Really been pleased with what I've seen in addition to Dylan Gibbons. I mean, he brings a um, you know a physicality, you know, an overall understanding, you know, you know very uh, technique and fundamentally sound. So uh, you know, there's there's been some some good battles, and uh, you know, you want to have depth, and you want to have guys that have to compete every day, and so it's. It's been good watching that. You like the leadership of Keyshawn getting blocking drills in different areas? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, Keyshawn, he, he is the, the ultimate teammate. You know, he is uh, you know, a talented young man, but uh, you know, to see the unselfishness that shows up, um, regardless of what he's being asked to do, he wants, he wants to inspire people. He wants to help uplift. Uh, he had a huge play today that was just an effort play. Ball out on the perimeter. I think Pokey caught it underneath, and you know, all of a sudden you see Keyshawn flash in front of him to get a touchdown spring and block. I mean, that, those are the things that when your effort is what defines you on the field and, and they can make the difference, uh, you know, that's, that's huge for a football team, and you know, Keyshawn embodies that. How much of a difference have you seen it make to Kai kind of committing to playing wide receiver this offseason? You know, it's a, it's a learning process. You know, we did that this spring. Uh, you know, he is, you know, his versatility of, of what he did last year in the slot and then, you know, even being able to do both now. And uh, you know, we're going to continue to explore uh, those best positions to put him in. But, you know, he's an, he's an all-around player and a guy that was great on special teams. He's going to you know, be a great special teams player here, but also a guy that can be a dynamic uh, uh, a dynamic player with the ball in his hands and his home run, his home run uh, you know, speed is, is something that's big. But uh, you know, that's one of the things that's kind of standing out to me is that you know, we're playing faster. We got more explosive, you know, more explosiveness that's showing up with the speed that we have. Um, you know, all the the things when it comes to protection, all the things that comes to consistency in the run game. I mean, those those things will come along. We throw a ton at them there early because if you don't see it, then you never. It's hard to teach it, and so. Um, you know, we're trying to be very aggressive in, in that installation in our pressure packages. Um, but, um, you know, I think, I think it's uh, something for our O-line that we're really, O-line backs, quarterbacks, that will really help them as, as we go through camp. Coach, what are you hoping to see out of your guys in those next two days in North Florida? You know, just continued work. And, uh, you know, we talked, we talked about how we break up camp with three-day set. Now we go into a four-day set. And, uh, you know, everybody's been given a specific uh, um, you know, fundamental technique, something that we need to see from them uh, over these next four days before we uh, scrimmage there on Saturday night. And, um, you know, just the, the consistency in that work. And, uh, you know, uh, everybody has the right intentions, but, you know, are you willing to do that whenever you're hot, you're tired, your body doesn't feel good? You know, now we're going to be going to a different, uh, a different place um, where we have no control of, of anything that's around us. 
I, I like that because there's going to be five times we go on the road this year that uh, you know are going to be, you know, there's not we're not going to be able to control the atmosphere. We're not going to be able to control what what situation uh, you know we might find ourselves in. Uh, you know, I've been on road trips before where we've been evacuated from the hotel in the middle of the night. You know what? We still kicked off when 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 the kickoff was ready. So uh, whatever occurs, we got to be pre prepared to respond as a team, and and that's what this is about: the relationship building. You know, you know be, being a little uncomfortable, sleeping in a different bed, and uh, still have to go out there and perform at an elite level. You know, he's coming along, and you know, Jared is one of those guys that just the consistency in the work. I mean, he's a big body. He got cleared, I think it was last game or maybe the last two games of the season. Um, you know, he's somebody that needs to help us, and his ability, no doubt. But he's got to show that consistency, play in and play out, trust in his fundamentals. And, and if he does that, uh, we got our swan in, in Jared Jackson. Do you notice anything on a micro level difference, 11 on 11, when you guys start practice and then when you end with 11 on 11? Do you notice anything like right off the bat, growth or just guys picking things up? Yeah, I mean, you know, we try to, like I said, we try to throw a lot at them. So the, the early, in, early in practice, um, you know, really just trying to establish a tempo, you know, set the stage for what, what, we're, uh, um, what we're looking to carry over in the individual and all the, all the different things. And, and towards the end of practice, well, now you've had a chance to work the, in the, the techniques, the fundamentals, you know, we, and we'll throw more situations at them later in practice to force them to use their minds. But, um, you know, they should, and uh, you know, there's there's some things that, uh, you know, we put them in challenging situations. But it more more than anything else, it's just about trying to to come out of the gate and start fast in what we're doing. All right, thank, you. Oh, thank you, guys.